Hi guys, today I have a kind of laid back video for you. I'm basically just going to be playing around with my fountain pens. If you aren't aware, it's currently National Stationery Week and today's hashtag is Fountain Pen Friday. So instead of just showing photos of my pens, I thought I would share a little video. If you saw my haul video on Wednesday, I shared these two pens which were sent to me by manuscript and also this one that I got last year. I also mentioned that I'm not a massive fountain pen user. It's something I've wanted to get more into but I've just not got around to doing it. So for this video I've actually gone to my friend Joey. She is amazing with all things pens. She does brush lettering and also a lot of calligraphy and stuff so I thought who better to ask than Joey and she's given me a lot of advice, a lot of links, a lot of recommendations that I'm going to share with you guys. I want to give her Instagram a little shout out. Her Instagram is full of art stuff and hand lettering and calligraphy so I'll leave a link to it below but if you want to go and follow her her username is so Joey with an underscore and it's definitely worth a follow if if you want to get a bit more inspired. She explained fountain pens in such a nice way. I'm going to read it out to you. I hope she doesn't mind. She said fountain pens are great because they open up this feeling of wonder. It's like you're sitting down to write something really important, something with meaning. It feels heavy in your hand, weighting your marks down on the paper, which is such a nice way to explain it because I do get that feeling when I'm writing with a fountain pen or a super like fancy pen. <laughs> My go-to pen every day is the Muji Gel Ink pen. As I'm sure most of you know by now, I only write in Gel Ink and more specifically black gel ink. I much prefer an inky pen when I'm writing. So I feel like I definitely would enjoy writing with a fountain pen. It's just been one of those things that I've never like properly thrown myself into. So this is my little collection of fountain pens. All of these pens were gifted to me on different occasions. These ones sit in my pen pot and I do grab for them every now and again. This one is a plastic fountain pen. It's a lot lighter. This one is metal and it's got quite a weight to it. The only annoying thing about this one is it came with blue ink so I don't have a black ink cartridge in it at the moment. These three pens are from Manuscript. This one is from Helix and then this one is from Gilio or Gilio, I can't remember how it's said. This one I got from Planicon Europe. Gilio were one of the sponsors of the whole event, so everyone got one of these in their goodie bag, and obviously I chose a yellow one. <laughs> this is probably the fanciest and most expensive fountain pen that I own. I'm not actually quite sure on the price, but I know these ones price range are a lot less than this one. This one, again, is a metal pen, so it's a lot heavier, it has a weight to it. So in terms of like, <laughs> fancy pens. These ones are a bit more fancy, whereas these ones are like the plastic ones. In my mind, they're still really nice, they're fun to use, but they're just not as weighty. They just kind of feel different in the hand. Again, if you watch my video, you will have seen me struggling <laughs> with trying to fill this pen and being really wussy about it, but I did eventually figure it out. This one, you just had to screw it to undo it, so I did that and put the ink cartridge in. I haven't opened this one yet, and I am going to open it and fill it to show you kind of how it works. I feel like fountain pens are kind of daunting in that sense, where you have to put the ink in yourself. But I think it is simpler than most people think. I am going to zoom this in a little bit so you can see. Most fountain pens, if not all of of them unscrew to get inside and in the bottom section with the nib there is I think you can see it there's a little dot which is like a puncher thingy <laughs> I'm going to be explaining this super, super like newbie dumbed down version because I do not have any technical words for you. So I hope you don't mind, but there is a little like punchery thing. So what that does is puncture the end of the ink cartridge and lets the ink flow out. So to fill it, you just put the ink cartridge in and you push down until it pops and that is your basically fountain pen filled. You just have to screw the end back on it and then give it a couple of scribbles and it should start working. I just got a blank notepad out of my little stash so I had some plain paper to show you on. So you just want to give it a few scribbles on some paper. Eventually <laughs> it will get there. There we go. Okay, got there in the end. <laughs> I had to give it like a couple of shakes and a bit of a scribble and it eventually started flowing. So this one has the black ink cartridge in. My calligraphy skills are not tip top. I don't do the letters how they're like supposed to be. I do my S's and my R's as I normally write my S's and R's. There is tons and tons of resources and tutorials and stuff on YouTube and also Pinterest on how to do different types of calligraphy. So these two are the exact same just different colours. This one is the Curve by Manuscript. These two are the Clarity. I'm not quite sure on the differences between them. To me, they write just the same, but they just feel different to hold in your hand. This one, like I said, is much more weighty, and this is the one that has a blue ink cartridge in. Okay, so the ink has actually run out on this one, which means I can put a different one in it, and I'm going to put a black one in there. This is where my kind of novice brain comes in, because I don't know if I meant to clean this or anything. I haven't really looked into it, but I'm going to refill it with a black one. Ooh. 
okay let's screw that back on it's kind of like a bluey black at the moment <laughs> this one has a much thinner nib to the other ones these ones have quite bold lines whereas this one is a lot more I don't know, I, I could use it in my planner or something because it will make my writing a bit smaller. I'm going to find a quote and try writing that out. If you guys use fountain pens or you have any recommendations for me, please leave it below because I do definitely want to get more into this. I'm going to do my normal handwriting and just see how it turns out. This is so weird, I'm not even doing my normal handwriting because I feel like my hand is scared <laughs> to just let it flow I think I definitely need to relax a bit more probably doesn't help that I'm doing it on camera as well I'm very aware that you guys are watching because that's how my brain works <laughs> okay let's try doing all lowercase slowed it down a bit now as well oh I spelt I did it wrong I did I did the quote wrong <laughs> let's try again <laughs> I mean, not the worst, but I can definitely improve on that. I think the one letter I always struggle with is R's. S's used to be a struggle, but I've definitely got better at doing the loopy S's. But the R's, I just cannot. There's like a whole backwards thing that you have to do with R's to make it flow properly. And I just cannot get used to doing it like that. So I always do my R's the same as I usually write them. And they kind of look like little ends. I'm going to try writing with one of these now and see if it's any different. This one's definitely a lot lighter in my hand. I feel like I can flap my hand around and it's not gonna knock anything out. <laughs> I have to admit, when I had a look at the shops that Joe recommended, there were so many pretty pens, like the actual barrels of them, the actual fountain pens. Oh, I just, I feel like I've never really gone into the fountain pen thing, mainly because of time that needs to go into it, but also I know I'm gonna end up spending a lot of money on pretty pens and I don't, need to be spending money on pretty pens right now I really need to be saving it but there was oh, just yeah I obviously have links and stuff below to the shops that she gave me recommendations for I've heard of one of them or two of them I think before which was cult pens and jet pens but yeah I've not heard of the other two so I'm gonna have to have a look at them but I'll leave them below anyway because if Joey recommends them then I trust her. I trust her opinion on things like this. I know you can get different nibs to go on certain fountain pens, but I don't know if these ones have different ones that you can change out. Again, that is something I'm going to have to look into. I have noticed the Gilio one has like a gold tipped nib. I don't know what that means. Whereas this one has just like a plain silver nib. But yeah, that's my little fountain pen collection. I just wanted to have a little play around with fountain pens and chat to you about them from like a novice level of experience <laughs> with fountain pens. I'm sure there's a lot of you who follow me who have like super calligraphy skills but I also know there's a lot of you in the same boat as me who don't really know where to turn with fountain pens but you do want to get into it. So hopefully this video has helped give kind of a starting point I suppose <laughs> with where to go and where to turn with fountain pens. Definitely have a nosy at the websites that I've left down below. If you do have any questions then pop them down below and if I can't answer them, if it's something I don't know the answer to, I will ask Joey and hopefully she'll be able to help me answer them for you. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Mm -hmm.